Oh, welcome from Android and Tick.com. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some benchmarks applications and, you know, see how well this performs. Because this does have a Tegra 3 quad core processor cooked at 1.5 gigahertz. So we're going to see what kind of results we get. First of all, we're going to load up Limpack for Android. I'm going to run the single thread really quick. Run that a couple of times, then we do multi thread. You get 51, 50. On about three times 51 so we get about on average about 51 um this for multi thread multi thread we get 119 111 the maximum i've got about 151 around that it's gone up to 137 so you could get a little bit higher than that and before i did these tests i did restart the phone so no other applications should be running in the background I got about 137. I think was the highest one, 105. See the the results kind of vary from each test. 117. But previously when I done it, um, the results I got, the highest one I got was 151. That was that, that was the highest one I've got. So just to give you an idea of what it's like, we've got 135 there. I'm gonna take a look at another one really quick. We're going to open up SmartBench, we're going to see how that performs as well. SmartBench 2012, we're going to run it. It's going to see, you know, what kind of results we get at the end. Hopefully this should uh, produce an accurate result. And it does have a quad core processor, so it should be good. But apparently you could get uh, better results with the new Snapdragon uh, processor by Qualcomm. But, you know, we'll see how this is. Display index scores. Zoom in a bit, maybe you can see it. Device, we've got 4,913. That's for productivity index. The gaming index is 2,706. So you can see it's like a lot faster than the Prime. Um, Galaxy S2 and all of these other devices down here. Hopefully you can see that on camera clearly. Hopefully it will auto focus and you can see it. But those are the results you get. Um, yeah, these are very good results. Top. Um, I'm not sure how the Snapdragon one will perform, but hopefully you can see that somewhere on the internet or in or another video. I want to take a look at another uh, benchmark application. We're going to take a look at um, Nanomark 2. Going to see how what kind of frame rate we get with that. I actually haven't tested it before, so I don't actually know what kind of results. You can see down there we're getting about 49, 50, 51. And we're going to do Nano Mark uh, 1 as well, see what kind of results we get on that. Okay, we've got 47.4 FPS. Anyway, but you get an idea of what kind of results you get. 47.4 um, frames per second. We're going to move on to the next benchmark application, which is Quadrant Standard. We're going to shoot this test off and see what kind of results we get. Okay, we're gonna run the full benchmark. I believe on Engadget they've got around just over four thousand, I think. But we're gonna see what kind of results we get with this. Hopefully it'll be good. It should be good because it's got a quad core processor clocked at one point five gigahertz plus an extra core, so should be good. Again about fifty nine sixty frames per second with that image. Here we're getting about fifty nine. 60 hovering around that mark so looking good so far this one 59 frames per second fifty nine frames per second I think this one's been updated for multi cores as well so should produce a good result at the end and that's it see what kind of result we get we've got 4359 so the results are pretty good 
as you can see compared to like the Galaxy Tab and the Nexus actually blows out of the water very good results um, so you can get to see that good results um, let's go into another um, benchmark application and see let's go into this one I'm gonna start this up and see what kind of results we get on this as well um, let's go to test and start the test okay so the test is finished and these are the results I got um, up there's 10,120 those are the results you can see the results for the RAM the CPU 2d graphics 3d graphics database IO SD card uh, write and read CPU frequency and the date and time and all of that good stuff so this is the result 10,120 um, and yeah let's see the rankings Submit scores. One next four thousand twenty six. You can see the rankings between everyone else. But anyway, that's just a quick look at that benchmark application. We're gonna move over to one more, which is Nena Mark One. We're going to run this and see what kind of frame rates we get. While well, this is going, if I missed any benchmark applications, you know, one that you might want me to show, just leave it in the comments below and I might do an additional video specifically showing that benchmark application and how it performs. And if you're interested to see uh, what kind of gaming, what kind of games are available and how it runs in there, I'm going to be doing a separate video showing you how games run um, later on. So we're going to see what kind of frame rate we get with this. Um, we get 59 frames per second which is more or less maxed out. Um, good results of that. And yeah, that's just a quick look at some benchmarking applications um, for the HTC One X and how well they perform. Uh, got good results from them. And if I missed any benchmark applications or you might want me to show one, like I said before, just leave it in the comments below and I might do a separate video, like a part two video showing some more benchmarks applications if you request it. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, are you planning on, on getting one? Are you happy with the results? Leave them in the comments below. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.